Hey everybody, this is Travis with the Loadout Room. Um, and today we are looking at the 511 All Missions Play Carrier. If you guys see this cord kind of bouncing around, it's my mic so you guys can hear me a little bit clear. And it, videos in the past has been a little hard to hear me. Hopefully this mic will do that for us. Um, and also, excuse me, I'm getting over a cold here, so if I snort a lot, I'm sorry. But anyway, back to it. 511 Plate Carrier was kind of introduced at SHOT Show, along with 511's new um, HEX system, which is a type of PALS or MOLLE system that allows you to mount accessories in a wide variety of angles. From up, standard up and down to, you know, these are bending in slightly to my non-firing can to my left, to completely horizontal instead of vertical, which this is the 511 3x9 medical pouch. And the name All Missions Play Carrier actually means something. It's not just a catchy marketing term. This is designed to be very modular and very easy to use for a variety of different missions. Now, as you can see here, I kind of have a pretty standard AR loadout. There's five mags and in the cummerbund, there's magazine pouches, six and seven. Pretty standard. Now, if I was given a weapon like a shotgun, normally what I'd have to do is take all the pouches off and swap them out for shotgun pouches or try to find a way to make these pouches work for shotgun ammo, which never really works. But instead, with this is this 12 by 9 grid panel here can just be completely removed and replaced, which is really, really handy, and I really like it. It's very e kind of easy to do. I won't say very, because these hooks up here have given me trouble in the past. Um, and not so much that they're <laughs> impossible or faulty in any way. It's just they really do hold this boy carrier on, or this hex grid on, which is important. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and see if I can get these off pretty easily. Let's see. If that hook catches just a little bit on the system, it can be a real hassle, but it does catch very well. So once it, there we go. Once you get the first one off, the second one actually comes off a little bit easier too. A little more room to work, I guess. There we go. <laughs> Getting all tangled up. So now let's bring my shotgun loadout in. Here is my shotgun loadout. This is uh, 5.11 and VTAX bandoliers. And then the VTAC shotgun ammo pouch, which holds 25 rounds. Then you just put in the Velcro, slide the hooks on. Let's see. Uh, there we go. All I gotta do is move over my pistol pouches. And there we go. Now I have a shotgun loadout. Of course, I still have these two mags here, but they're not really in my way. Now, outside of that level of modularity, you can actually strip this plate carrier down to almost nothing. <laughs> because this is more of a, if you look at this kind of loadout, this is a very heavy loadout. I could attach still more stuff if I needed to, for whatever reason. This would be almost like a deployment loadout, I would say. If I was going on a foot patrol for hours and hours, this is kind of how you'd set it up with as much ammo, food, water, tourniquets as you can carry. But I'm not doing that. So if I wanted to be more low profile, if I was maybe more of a law enforcement or private security perspective, I probably wouldn't want to run all this here. So what I do is I break this whole plate carrier down. So let's start. First, we're going to take off this grid again. Man, I think I'd be better at this. I've probably shot this video twice now in total, and these are always hooks always hang me up, which is kind of a good thing, because you don't want this randomly just coming off because the hooks suck. But uh, there we go. All right, so that was a slow step one, I apologize. And I just tossed it off the bench here, but it's okay. Now I can start peeling away cummerbunds, because there's two. There's an internal one here that actually offers a few pockets. It's kind of a softer one. The external is the hex. So we're moving one at a time so you can kind of get a better idea of how modular this carrier is. So this is a lot easier than trying to strip gear, to be honest with you, even with those hooks. So there's one down. There's the other. Now I have the other side here. Oh, okay. okay. So now if I wanted to, I could reattach this and just have this internal cummerbund. You guys can see here take this off and both sides are identical and you could um, kind of change them up here but there's two two small pouches or two AR pouches one very small pouch maybe a pocket knife or a flashlight and then one large pouch for whatever else you want to fit most radios in these and like I said they are identical <laughs> velcro man I tell you but so you get a good idea of how it works 
Now I'm very lightweight, and I just have these buckles on the side to keep it secure. I have this kangaroo pouch here, and too, what I can do is this, this comes with a internal organizer system. Well, you guys saw this earlier. That kangaroo pouch there has a small organizer. Um, I don't know what you want to call it, a panel. That basically holds magazines and allows for attention. So let's go ahead and unload this. Then I can... There we go. Velcro. I'm sure that sounds great on this video, but this little internal pouch is pretty cool. So then I can take it, the non-firing can over here. Now, very carefully, what I can do, make sure you have it arranged in the right direction, because hook and loop on, or hook on one side, loop on the other. Make sure it's not like this. And then put it in here, like so. Kind of. So it's more or less even. Now I can just take the mags and see, toss them back in here. Now I can throw in three AR mags and have a pretty decent setup. And I can do it pretty quickly. I could just leave this panel in here and keep it flat. And I would, uh, I'm gonna try to get an extra one of these because I, I don't like moving them around so much. And another neat feature is the new flex pouches from 511, which you see here. Catch that. These are flex pouches, and they're normally set up in a, you can see, this normal webbing, but they actually come with um, attachments that can convert these to hook and loop, so you can just stick them there and have your pouches as you want them. So all in all, I think this is a very versatile plate carrier. It's pretty comfortable. The internal pads are really nice. One, two, three, four. It's got a, um, well, I guess they just call this like an emergency handle. I know we called it the Marine Corps with a bitch handle. You can pull and leash someone, get them out of the uh, area really easily. And the inside has uh, Velcro and bands to keep your plates in one position. So I have some, um, what do I have in here? I don't have steel plates, I have ceramic plates. Ceramic and steel plates in here. And um, you can remove these shoulder pads, make it a little sleeker, but I really like the padding. But overall, it's a very modular system, and what I like about it is that it doesn't take long to switch things around. I'm kind of a, I really, really hate weaving Molly and Pals, so once I do it, I like like it to stay there. Um, with this kit, it's not really a not really a big deal. Just change up the hex grid. You can buy the extra 12 by 9 hex grids at 511.com or 511tactical.com. I can't remember their <laughs> webpage. Um, yeah, this like I said, it's a very, very neat system. It's very... Um, Again, very modular. They, they named it well. And this is kind of an overview of how it works. I haven't had much time to take it to the range, start shooting and wearing it, running, jumping, all that fun stuff. But you can expect that review next. So There's just so much to unpack. I wanted to break it down into two videos and two reviews. If you guys have any questions, make sure you ask them in the uh, article. Rather than the YouTube comments, I get alerts for the articles, not so much for the YouTube comments. But uh, all in all... I like the system. I think it's honestly very fairly priced for what it is, and the modularity is just supreme. I, I kind of want to build more loadouts. I'm thinking maybe a subgun loadout, shotgun, rifle, and hmm, maybe even just a general survival loadout with survival tools. But anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you learned a thing or two, and I'll see you next time.